You've got a 503 error on your website. The server just went down. It's unavailable. What do you do? And what does this mean? What is a 503 server error? Well, the server temporarily went down. So what happened here? Well, it could be maintenance and downtime. It could be capacity problems. And it's going to ask you to try again. In most cases, don't panic. It's going to be okay. The server just went down temporarily, maybe two to three minutes. It'll go back up. If you're using Cloudflare or CDN, probably going to have a cached version of the web page, you know, even for 30 seconds or a minute. And if you refresh it or you notice that you if you're working on the back end like I just was it's going to go down and I, you know what my problem solving hat now is on I've got my detective shoes on and I want to make find out what actually happened here so what I'm going to be doing is taking you through my journey I'm going to go problem solve this right now and we're going to make a live recommendation to my client to upgrade the server because in most cases I think we're out of space I think the hard drive is completely maxed out all right stay tuned let's go and check it out Hey, what's up? When is it a good time to upgrade your website hosting server? Hey guys, my name is Mike and in this video we're going to cover, well, we're going to find out why this website just crashed and I thought this would be a great idea for you to come along on the journey and we're going to do some real life problem solving. I was just doing some SEO meta tagging and uh, creating some 301 re redirects for SEO purposes and all of a sudden the website crashed. I messaged the owner to find out, hey, what's going on? And he told me that this has been a common problem for the last two months. Every time they go and create or try and create an update on the website, it just crashes. So immediately my spider sense is kind of like they tingle and I will begin to wonder, well, what could the problem be? And so just like this physiotherapy or the, this chiropractic clinic, they've got like annoying inflamed knee pain on their website that keeps on coming back like a chronic problem. So we're going to go in and dive in and find out what the problem is. I have a feeling uh, that there might be something to do with the website because here's a message messaging I'm get also uh, on the top left hand side of my page here look what it says right here so service unavailable server is temporarily unable to service your request due to maintenance downtime or capacity problem but I was just on the website problem solving and actually doing some 301 redirects and I lost all my work now we got to find out what's going on I have a feeling that the website is completely out of space I think that they've reached the maximum they've just reached the end of their life of their website hosting plan so they might be like on a basic GoDaddy website hosting plan. So we're going to have to log in, check that information out, and then go into either cPanel or Plask or whatever they use and find out how much space is there you know, in, on the server. Because it, I think what's happening here is that I'm trying to create a change on the server, whether it's a alt tag attribute, more content, a new picture, optimizations, and it's having a hard time writing to the database. So we're on a WordPress website. This has come up. It's probably something to do with the server. So if you guys get this, chances are it's probably a good time to upgrade your server. So let's go in now. And actually, I'm going to go into GoDaddy. We're going to find out, take a look under the hood, so to speak, and see what the problem is and see if you and I can fix it together. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to just kind of flip around a couple of screens here. So let's go. We're going to go to GoDaddy.com. I'm assuming. Oh, actually, I got that one incorrect. It's actually GoDaddy. GoDaddy.com. Okay, a little too quick there, right? And I'm going to sign in as well. And then we're going to blast off to the next steps. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, and we're signed in to the customer's account. So we're going to go in here, click on products. So whatever web hosting you guys are, make sure that as your website is growing and you're upgrading the website, you're adding new pages or blog posts, there's going to be a time where you have to upgrade the website and you should do it sooner rather than later. So if these are some of the symptoms and the signs of this annoying kind of pain in your back, which is your website, try and figure out like, you know, don't put it off too long. We've got to find a way to troubleshoot through this. So I have a feeling that we're going to get to a point where we're going to find out the server's out of storage. So I'm going to have to go click through a few pages here. And so I'll see you in just a moment on the cPanel side and we'll go and investigate over there. All right. So I'm going to go down to uh, website hosting deluxe Linux with cPanel and I'm going to click on manage. We're going to click on uh, disk usage right here on the, on the left and find out how much space there actually is. And let's go check it out. All right. Voila. Check this out. You're out of, uh, you're out of web hosting space. There's not enough room on the server or anything else. So everything else looks pretty good. It's time to either clean up the server 
over or it's uh, time to upgrade because we are we are completely maxed out. Look at this. So so this is just a basic GoDaddy web hosting plan. Uh, one of two things happened. One, either GoDaddy you know upgraded to a new WordPress managed plan, and they kind of this is the way of them like knocking off their old clients uh, off this plan when they find out there's problems and they bring them onto a new plan. Or you know what? Honestly, the website could have just outgrown it. Like they've outgrown their rocket ship here. So now that they're flying and they're doing well, it's time to maybe replace the engine, you know, in the sense of, you know, we've got to go and actually replace the web hosting platform that houses the WordPress website so we can scale the business out further. So check this out. But look at this, though. Look at this. I'm blown away. Look at this. It's like at 99% or it's like 1% left. So, of course, every time I make an update to the website, it's just going to crash. Or if I make a, anything, even like a content change, add a new page, it's going to crash the whole website because the server has to reset. It'll recycle the small little tiny bit of information that it can. And the website will go back up and running. I bet if I go back to the website now, we can probably get it working again. And let's try this again. I want to try this really quickly. I'll refresh the website and I'm sure we can probably get it to load. Let's try it out. Hold on. Because it probably had enough time to reset by now. But what I'm going to do after this is I'm going to go to the owner. I'm going to make a recommendation to upgrade the basic website hosting plan to a WordPress managed server. Uh, GoDaddy offers a ton of really good services and a lot of other website hosting services do. You know, I, I know I'm very biased toward Kinsta or Empathy Host because they offer good VPS hosting platforms. Uh, but you know what? GoDaddy offers some pretty good platforms too. So if you're already with them you just have to upgrade so let's go and check this out right now hold on okay and i hit refresh and voila we are back in action it had just enough time to reset the server load it back up for the client and it has just enough power to run just a little tiny bit but it's time for an upgrade right now so my recommendations here are going to be to upgrade the website hosting server to a managed wordpress server this is a great way because it tells us hey you're scaling you're growing your website's growing let's make sure we have the capacity to grow so you know this is going to be the next little chapter for them just to kind of get this next step going. And that's it. If you like this video, let me know if you guys have any questions about what are VPS website hosting or what is managed website hosting. When's a good time to upgrade? Just, you know what to do. Let me know what the questions are just down below and, uh, you know, subscribe for more great videos just like this. Hit that bell notification button so that way you can be alerted when I pump out any more videos about real life examples like this, you know, how to build your agency, how to build your company, how to help your family business, how to build your local store, et cetera, et cetera. And also, you, you know, you'll be aware of any reviews any of the stuff that i'm doing because you know man it's been a journey it has been a journey and i hope whether you're new here or you've been always following me hey welcome to the journey and i can't wait to see you on more videos thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one